What's going on, everybody? It's Melo. It's Mina. We're here today at Whole Renfrew Square One. Today, we're here with one of the league's best dressed players, Nikhil Alexander Walker. Yo, it was good. And Vivon presents Who Style Their Best. Nikhil, thank you for coming on the show. To start, we want to know, tell us, what are you wearing today? Uh, today I'm wearing a gift from one of my boys, oh. uh, Johnny, at Unlaced. Uh, cactus plant, flea market dunks. Um, unfortunately, they're discontinued because of sizing. Uh, I got a pair of Dickies from a, I think it was like Value Village maybe, or right. like a thrift, thrift spot. Yeah. Um, and then a Chrome Heart shirt. Uh, accessories, this is my, one of my favorite watches. It's beautiful. Uh, and then... Diamonds from my boys, Old Frost, and Van Cleek. Hard. You brought out some Grail shoes for us, yeah. too. That's crazy. And you said they discontinued? Yeah. So um, can I get these ones after the show? I mean, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we have to make a trade or something. Make a trade or something. Down the offer. All right, cool, cool. Mina, what are you wearing? Today, I just have a Miri shoes, um, some Givenchy pants, and a Miri silk t-shirt, um, silk shirt. Yeah. What about you? Tell us, what are you wearing today? Uh, yeah, I went Prada shoes. Um, this is a gift from Four Studios, a brand based out of Toronto. Uh, that's the, the pants are kind of hard. And then I went um, Burberry, Burberry top, silk Burberry top, summertime, you know? Something light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good kind to keep it good light. Fit. Breezy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So to start, um, we wanted to ask you, so being in the NBA is, is a huge dream that you, you've accomplished. So 2019, you get drafted to the Pelicans. Tell us, like, how did that feel? Uh, it, it didn't hit me. Yeah. Up until that, like that point, because like, for me in that in that time and what I was going through was like my cousin had just gotten drafted. Yeah. Mm. And we grew up like being twins, like we're probably sixty days apart, and so we've always been playing against each other, playing with each other. Um, high school, we shared a room, went wow. to the same high school, like so for him, uh, seeing him get there it made me like, okay, like that pressure's off in yeah, a sense, yeah. like, because we were so close and like basketball has been our dream since forever. It was kind of a relief, um, but it made me more motivated to like stay in the league for because sure. like I knew he was going to have much success. And like one day I would like that for myself. Exactly. For wow. sure. That's a big moment. And I, yeah. It's crazy that, that that's the f feeling that you got from it. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't even a, uh, Wow, I made it. It's like, okay, no, I have to work now. Yeah, like right yeah. away, that that was yeah. more the feeling that you had, and that's huge. All right, so when you now you're in the league, what was your welcome to the NBA moment? I, I've seen a couple of people kind of had that moment where you play against someone and you're like, whoa, I'm really here right now. Yeah. You know, do you, did somebody bust your ass like right off the bat? Or? There's, I think there's two moments. Okay, um, yeah. and like kind of stuff they don't really like tell you about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, Started off with summer league, right. and I had a great summer league. And then um, went to preseason with the team. I kind of worked my way into like good minutes. Yeah, I had like a great preseason. And so like that first game happened to be in Toronto mm. um, when they had the ring ceremony, mm -hmm. and like having all my like over a hundred tickets. And I think that moment hit because I played terrible. Yeah. Oh, wow. but it was just like, damn, like the one game I probably would have wanted out of all games yeah. to really like do well. And that was like my welcome moment because like a lot of the, my teammates were like, bro, it's just one game. Yeah. Like, right. There's an 82 game season. You it's can't, a long, it's a long you game. can't hang your head and just keep it pushing. And then the next was um, actually, I feel like, sorry, not to cut you off there. You put your, a lot of pressure on yourself there. Is that nah, what it was like? For sure. And then for sure. that's kind of why you underperformed it. Is that what the sure. feeling was like? Oh, all my friends are here. I have to go harder. Now you, I, so you're trying to go like, you're trying to do a lot more than what you should have instead of letting it flow. Is that kind of what it was? Yeah. Like my, my first play of the game, like I shot the ball right away. Oh, like, right I away. Was, as like, soon as it's like, feeling yourself, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get straight to it. Like, like Michael Porter Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> I'm pulling and and like it was a terrible shot but it was in the shot clock in my defense we're bringing that clip up by the way we're putting it here <laughs> but um i mean like just that moment to to have that and the pressure like you're saying was more based on just like a drive of wanting to do good mm. but that's just because 
in that moment, it feels like I'm sharing it with everybody. Right, right. right. As yeah. opposed to just me out there hooping in another game. Yeah. Right. I mean, honestly, you also had some wait, wait, big moments. You were saying there was a second moment, too. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Stan Van Gundy, my second year. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a weird year because this is like when some fans were allowed mm -hmm. and the yeah. whole coronavirus yeah. stuff. And so um, I didn't play the entire first half. It's like the late third quarter. And we're playing Boston Celtics. Mm. And the man tells me, all right, sub in, cool. And then he puts me on Jason Tatum. And like the first three minutes, you can tell like I'm stiff, haven't played yet. And like he's in mid game form. Yeah, like he's and like he literally first three or four plays was going at me off rip. Like, <laughs> And I was like still trying to get like my legs going yeah, and stuff so I get that feel. Yeah. yeah, like you have no time to, like you have to be ready at right. all times. And the, one of the weirdest things is you never know when your name's gonna be called. 100%. And at that time, when it is called, like it can be life-changing, game-changing. Crazy, yeah, he was front you or what? <laughs> uh, I mean, he scored the, He scored those possessions. He scored, <laughs> he scored like, a he, couple he didn't give me like 40, 50. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, but he was good. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, so you, but you, you've had like big moments as well. Um, the game with uh, LA Clippers, you dropped 37 points. So tell us about that. Is that a time where you're like, oh yeah, I belong in the NBA? Yeah, that was against Paul George too. You're mentioning yeah. that Tatum was kind of giving you the business, but Paul George, you cook, kind of cooked him. Like, you know, you're yeah. giving him buckets yeah. against that in that 37 point game. That was huge. Um, and like, it was in high school when like me and my boys would watch a lot of NBA and this is like Indiana Paul George, yeah. where he was like slowly becoming like one of like my favorite players. Yeah, and right. So like, kind of like that surreal moment that you guys were talking about, to come back full circle and like the the day of the game just didn't really feel anything different than another day. But I just knew in warm ups like I was a, I was making damn near every shot I was taking. Mm. Um, I had a rhythm and then as the game went on, I kind of just blacked out. Like was in a zone of just yeah. confident, um, felt like myself and was enjoying it, just yeah. having fun. And then like every shot I took, it felt like every shot I practiced. Wow, you're locked in. <laughs> <laughs> I watched those that that game uh, like quite a bit. Like yeah, you were you're you busted you're busting ass. Yeah, <laughs> you guys. I think you ended up losing, but it was still yeah. like a a moment where you to me at least it felt like. Well, yeah, for you, like, maybe you felt like, oh, yeah, I do belong here after all. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think it takes some time getting to that comfort level, but you really look comfortable there taking crazy floaters over guys and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, great game. So we're going to go into our first segment now. This one's called Drip or Drown. What we're going to do is we're going to go through pictures that we found of you on the Internet, through your Instagram. Maybe we reach out to some friends to get some throwbacks, and you have to let us know if it was Drip or Drown. All right. <laughs> you got to be honest. Okay. First, All right, first things first. That's a big, uh, big throwback. I want to say drip. drip. Um, back then, like my mom was big on Ralph Lauren, and everything for her was like, I probably had like a hundred baby polo shirts. Mm -hmm. um, but blue denims can't go wrong. Um, who knows what those Nikes were? But uh, just the Ralph Lauren, like you know, yeah. it's a statement piece. But it was chill. Exactly. And, and yeah, that's, that's all moms right there. Yeah, no, I'm going drip with this fit yeah. too, bro. Shout out to mom. Mom put you in some, some drip, you know? She she paved the way, you know? Yeah, to yeah. where you're at Started today. Started early. Started, Started early. early? Mina, what are you saying? That's drip drip for sure. That's drip for sure. Ralph Lauren is making a comeback as well, so if okay. you're asking for right now as well, that's a big drip. Yeah. That's uh, one of the tunnel fits. Tunnel fit. How do you feel about the league tunnel fit? Uh, it's uh, like a whole runway now, like at this point, you know? It's become an expression yeah. like, of yeah. who you are or like yeah. who you want to you want the world to think you are. Yeah, yeah. Fair, like that fair. perception you want to give off. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Like for me, uh, you kind of don't know how it happens because it's just there. And then you start to pay attention to it. Yeah. But um, since I can remember, like since the baby picture prior, like I just love clothes and like mm -hmm. my family love clothes and putting on clothes. So for me, it's like, all right, this is like, I might not be where I want to be on the court but I can show everyone in the tunnel I'm just as good as anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair, and fair. And so, like, that's for me, 
kind of like that competitive side of being in the NBA, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy that you're competing off the court as well. That's huge. Is that a drip? Yeah, that's a drip. Yeah. For sure. My Lord, what, you what, what pants are those I was going to ask? Uh, those are Capital. Capital. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is a big drip fit to me. Mina, you know, what do you think? That's a big drip for sure, 100%. This is an easy drip, like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Another throwback picture. We're going back uh, to the throwback. We wanted to put these two pictures together just to see, like, at that age. Yeah, this Were is... You're dripping at that age? Wait, this is high school days, you know? Yeah, yeah. First one, it's like green. No, the one on the right is green 9, green 10. Yeah. Great 9, great 10. Second one is... Um, Grade 11, maybe. Mm, but yeah. second one is crazy because skinny jeans were in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they're full, yeah. full swing now, though. Like, you yeah, would never yeah, wear yeah, skinny yeah. jeans now, would you? You can't. I mean, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> but that's uh, fashion, though. It changes all the time. Nah, that that's when you're on a budget. <laughs> 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 I went to that jacket's. What Urban Outfitters? Yeah, Urban yeah. Planet me. I know. Like I think that. it's a, that's something Planet you'd find over it there. It looks. It looks like the Elf the Industry. Oh, you know it's not the Elf like, Industries yeah, one no, from Urban no, Outfitters. No, 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 I'm not even lucky to have that at the time. <laughs> but um, nah, that was just all money I would save to try to do some uh, or like shoes I stole from my cousin. That's sick. That's sick. Um, yeah. but yeah, I think that I think I'm not even gonna lie. The chain in the second one, yeah, is Shandon's. I just wore it. Uh, he's in the pick right there. Yeah. And then... Oh, you just wore for the pick? Uh, yeah, I just wore for the pick. That's what you do <laughs> back in the day, though. Yeah, you were young. Grade nine, man. you know? Like, that. Take that your cousins. Tough, but... yeah. uh, Mina, what are you saying? Drip or drop? I'm drowning today. You're, yeah, you're, you're drowning? drowning. <laughs> if, if, if this is today's world, yeah, I'm yeah, drowning. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. the time, I was... I was were you a guy walking through the highway? Uh, I was, I was, I was through uh, the hallways? I was afloat. But, um... But, I mean, you definitely like thought saying, you were When dripping. you're walking through, you come to school no, I was this bit. Yeah, guy. you... <laughs> and I don't... Anyone who knows me in that time... Yeah, yeah. Would have said that guy was a guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> no way he's wearing this. Like, you know, everybody's going to try to get this fit out there. Mino, you know, what are you saying, Jeremy? No, I, I agree with what he's saying. Like, of course, like, right now, this is drown. Yeah. But back in the day, like... You're gonna look at these pictures. It's like mm -hmm. you're gonna Everyone remember. Has, you're gonna remember the feeling. Like, like that. you're gonna feel like, <laughs> you know, mm. that was a fit. And the stars yeah. on the shirt. It's like <laughs> it's supposed to be like Javanchi, but like you know, can't afford that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go drown with these yeah. two. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry to do it to you. You know. <laughs> yeah. I'm but, drawing, I'm yeah. Drawing stuff. Yeah. All right. Next one. All right. Uh, this is a tough fit. This is recent though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of uh, shows the contrast, you know, where you were at before, yeah. where you're at right yeah. now, like kind of. Yeah. Yeah. See, ten years from now. Yeah, I say. yeah, yeah. What do you think? Um, is it a dripper job? What kind of sandals are those? Those are Balenciaga. Balenciaga. They are? But like, that's that's drip to me. Yeah. Because it's just like. Uh, How do you feel about the G short wave? No, I just. I think it's. it's I think it's. Right it's it's definitely in. Yeah. But um. It's more nostalgic, yeah, okay, you fair. know, like everyone had a big football jersey. I had like a Donovan McNabb jersey, yeah, yeah. had a bunch of different players, Mike Vick. But like, and you always wore it with jean shorts like, right. or when you know, I was a kid, like my, my parents would put me in it with like with jean shorts. So, yeah, um, that was a but the ones that are in right now are just different. Like they're just like baggy, looser ones, baggy, loose. yeah, a bit yeah. over the knee. Yeah. yeah, I think there's different components to yeah. it that you can like take away from it, like the socks and sandals. That's supposed to feel like a tourist. No, you no, wanted like a to tourist, tourist look. Little, like yeah. you know, like oh, um, you put thought especially with this place. especially with the side bag. Especially with the side <laughs> bag. The side bag is, is Chanel, right? Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a nice yeah. side bag. Yeah, I got lucky. Creative. Um, grabbing that. Shout out to my friend John in LA. Help me out with that. Oh yeah. Yeah. We gotta tap in with John, Mina. Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. I, need, I need that bag. Sure. That's a plug, John. Plug. That's a yeah, plug. Bro. Mother, what do you think? Oh, this is a drip, bro. Yeah. Yeah. In this time right now, I feel like I see a lot of people kind of trying to copy this style. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you guys are kind of laying the foundation for it. Exactly. People like you. Uh, I think this is a drip look, though. I haven't put a fit on like that yet, yeah. but I think it's drip. What do you think, Mina? I think it's drip. I just don't know how I feel about the sandals. Mm. Oh, the that's sandals. The, that's the only thing for me. You're not going with the sandals? They're comfortable. They're they look so comfortable. comfortable. I just... I maybe, think it flows but like in sweet coke picture. Has, sweet coke has hard, like, yeah, sandals, yeah, yeah. too. You know? Yeah. I like drip, though. Drip? Next one. Mm. This is a subway fit. Yeah. This, these jerseys are super in right yeah, now. Super. This, what you're talking about, same. And the yeah. socks as well, like the thick socks right yeah, now. Yeah. And the Tiffany Air Force like socks. Yeah. I are you a big shoe guy? I, I'm, I'm into shoes because of my cousin. Oh, okay. um, but I think that's where my level of fashion comes in uh, because it started from shoes. Like mm -hmm. as a kid, 
I probably didn't care much about clothes as much as I did shoes. So right. like, if I had five hundred dollars, four hundred is going to shoes, <laughs> yeah. and then everything else I'll make do with what I yeah, can you're put going on. To blue notes. Or yeah, something. yeah, it's like, <laughs> and um, journeys and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, for Zoom, me, it was, Zoomies was big back then. Yeah, yeah Zoomies, yeah. journeys. Yeah. So I, I would say like, this drip. Yeah, that's drip. Me and a dripper, John. Yeah, that's that's a big drip. The Tiffany's. The, the jerseys is I feel like fire. this is a little humble moment too. You're trying to like yeah. just show back. You go back to the yeah. subway. That was yeah. a trip in Montreal. That was during like Montreal. the Grand Prix weekend. Oh, that Grand was Prix. Fun. Oh, yeah. Next one. Mm. Mm. Tell us, what do you think? It's rookie year. It's rookie year. A lot of things happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... You so just, that's the year? You that's, just get money. So yeah. that's you're like, <laughs> but you're that's, buying all things. But that's right? also the year like where you're starting to get like all the tunnel fits. Mm -hmm. And then you're probably like trying to get creative mm -hmm. with all the fits, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think of this one? I like it though. I like it yeah. just because it's hard to wear white pants mm, and exactly. not wear an all white fit. Yeah. So I think in that ability of, its, of itself. Um, you're really trying to sell this one on us right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's... That's drip. That's drip. That's drip. That's Nina, drip. what do you think? Drip or drop? I don't know. I think it's, it's drip. A, it's a tough. It's a tough one. Here, it's awesome. However, I'm gonna go. Drip. Me it's personally, drip. I'm gonna go drown with this one. No, no offense, though. Yeah, that's you know? fair. I mean, you not have, for everybody. Yeah, it's not fair. You have big. But I feel like if I see what you're trying to do. I just think it, it was off a little yeah, bit. You know? I have to be drunk. But but I rock with the shoes. These are the rock where Air Forces too in this. Uh no, those ones were the Carne Garçon. Oh, the okay. eyes. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Those were nice. Yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty Ooh, nice another tunnel fit. So this is like a cropped um dress shirt. I'm actually mad at myself for this fit. Oh yeah? Yeah, because I like now it. every time I see it now, I was like, I should have wore a different pair of shoes. Uh, okay. But yeah, it, yeah. it's recycled, that's why. Because I had worn it to some somebody's birthday, just not in the tunnel. Right. So I tried to switch the shoes to hide it. <laughs> so we, yeah, so we get it off in the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't hidden how you wanted it to mm -hmm. hit it. Yeah. Mina, what do you think? Do you, do you, do you I don't know. Yesterday when it was, we were, me and Melo were putting this together, I, I was telling you, I think this is John. Yeah, yeah. You're like, I don't know how I feel about the, the crowd. Sure, I'll take know. it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Different but, shoes, like, I might say it's yeah. No, nah. yeah, I'll go for uh, down for this one. I like the, but I like the shirt though. Mina saying he doesn't. Yeah, like that's the shirt, why I like the like shirt though. The uh, shoes are. Yeah. These shoes. To me. I think it was. I like this shirt. I don't think it's a drip or a John. It's just in the middle. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. It's just kind of like a, a calm fit. Wrapped, you, know? you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little calm fit. That's all. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, it's a big moment. That's when you got drafted. Um, Draft day suits are a big thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You see, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's Grady amazing. Dick. His, yeah, yeah, his, his suit was, was crazy. crazy. <laughs> like, you know Red what I'm saying? So, do you he remember? Do you remember getting fitted for the suit? And were you like, yo, I'm gonna kill it? Like, yeah, you know, I had the yeah, draft. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. So like, you kind of get an invite into the green room. So like, you don't know. It's really like who the team say is gonna be that pick, right? Mm -hmm. Who they say I'm gonna want him. Mm -hmm. And going into this, I was like nervous because I'm like, oh, I don't know how they're going to feel about me. And so um, I know Shay did a crazy suit right? and it hit. So I'm like, okay, there's no way I'm not at least going to attempt to do something crazy right. or like be related to him and just be in an all black suit. Right, right. So uh, one of the, my guy, Julian, who made it, um, we were talking like, what is something like what is something nobody has done but like it's still smooth and so i did like i think it was like alligator and then the bolo tie just kind of matched yeah. the southern alligator with the bolo skin, tie. yeah the skin tight fit and we somehow got some black alligator shoes to match so oh was, wow it was a moment and on the details the on the tie like it had my initials oh yeah so like everything about it to me no matter the moment 20 drip. years, 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's drip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you yeah. think, Melo? Uh, nah, bro. Drip or drop. Even just the moment itself, you know what I'm saying? And you switch it up with the bowl of tie like that. It's like drip, that. right? Yeah, this yeah, is a big drip. drip. It's a big one. moment. It's a nice uh, suit. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, you you definitely look back at them and you're like, whoa. Yeah, what was I doing? Yeah, Styles yeah. evolved. Okay, let me take you back right now. There's a rumor going around that when you're in high school at the North Pole Hoops uh, Showcase, mm -hmm. you faked an injury with your right hand, 
like taped it up everything just to bust everybody else's ass with your left hand just to show them like they couldn't guard you is that is that a fact is that something that happened so i, I in high school i was like really big on like using my left hand mm -hmm. and still am but mm -hmm. i like really forced the ambidextrous thing like always trying to shoot with my left in game right and, like playing tournaments left-handed mm -hmm. i think for me it was like that was something that just challenged me right and at the time like there was a lot of left-handed point guards that were like really nice right like, this is like memphis mike conley mm. this is like uh uh ohio state d right like, you know right. what i'm saying so like these left-handed guys are really starting to come james harden like when yeah. he's just switched to Houston. Yeah, so they, now I'm thinking, right like, now. all right, like, being left is just wavy. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not even... Their game is just prettier. So, yeah, did you actually crazy. fake, like, an injury? Yeah, like, I, I, I said I sprained my, like, you know, my sprained my thumb. <laughs> but, like, I, I just taped it up heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was one tournament where I heard it, and I played left. So then going into that, I just said, oh, I reheard it. or mm -hmm. I didn't hurt it that time, but yeah. I had faked it to... to <laughs> That's play. hilarious. I didn't even moment. care about no one else. I just wanted to just uh, left handed. I just wanted to be a left handed. <laughs> you want to be a lefty so bad. Eh? Mm -hmm. I so, love it. In the way that you carry yourself, uh, you can just tell like you're heavily into fashion. So tell us, look, why is it so important to you? I think just because like everyone needs their 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 escape. Yeah. Um, their way away from things because like you, you get caught up in anything you're doing too much, it can drive you crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I touched on it earlier, like my family has just been always into it. Yeah. And so it was like cool to get into it and learn. And us as cousins, like all of us being so close, mm -hmm. um, we were like all influential to each other. And it kind of felt like they're my bigger brothers and my younger ones are my younger brothers. Yeah. And uh, so like anything, my older cousins did i seen them as like a big brother a role model so right. then that's what kind of paved the way for me and then i started to appreciate those things and like mm -hmm. one of the things like he used to get on me about was like being a hype beast like i used to like oh jordan fours can't like them because yeah. <laughs> yeah, he them. has jordan fours you right. know what i'm saying yeah. he's like no like you don't even know why they call him some f-words you don't even know why this isn't that so now i started to oh, do like research. Oh, into the so game now i'm doing research yeah, on yeah, things right. so like now i'm really like okay cool. these are this and i can explain the shoe because i had to research it to just to be able to be in his room and act like i know what i'm touching know what i'm like yeah 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 and all those things so um it's crazy that they you're giving them the that that credit though yeah they kind of gave you the game but you're giving it back right back you know yeah, yeah some people don't do that you know no i mean like yeah. everyone has their inspiration for sure um i took it into my own thing and we all took it into like our own thing mm -hmm. but like Without a doubt, like my main focus was basketball, always was basketball. Yeah. And like seeing him in a older state, um, more developed, um, and like almost cool, like mm -hmm. like it, it, it inspired me to want to do something outside of basketball yeah. and like really get into it. All right. So uh, Toronto has a rising fashion scene right now. Uh, there's a lot of like upcoming brands that are kind of establishing themselves well. I've seen you wear uh, like Addy to Maastricht hats things of that nature. Is there any brands in Toronto that you're really into right now? Uh, like one of my friends um, really started one and it's like kind of just like a starter piece, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, says Mill, that's like one of the, the ones I support a lot. Yeah. But like that's a close friend of I see and trying. What's to it called something. again? Says Mill. Says, says Mill. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not out like to where he's done a lot of drops, mm -hmm. but being a close friend to him and seeing him like all the time just take my insight um working really hard like seeing one of your close friends in a drive and a passion and it's motivating for me um like you said like to me if i had to give somebody the the keys to the city in that i would say like the Addy Addy National, guy, yeah. just like and the leather jackets things. are crazy the, the varsity the hats like mm. But uh, we also seen Unseen Being doing big things too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're heavily like tapped in stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, that's another brand that I feel like is is strong amongst like guys like Four Studio, guys the from, Lions, if, like if you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Guys so, from Toronto. Guys from Toronto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Unseen Being, um, because like a lot of it's in LA, mm -hmm. but he is 
from here, here yeah, so right. like it's like hard. Yeah, he's yeah. based in LA. Yeah, yeah. So fair so like, enough. He did some pretty sick pop ups as well. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a big. I wear I wear that all the time. Yeah, all day. Um, I think knowing him as well, uh, and his creative mind, like he's probably one of the only people who I believe in life could have done anything he wanted to do. Uh, like he's just that capable of mm-hmm. and his potential of like anything he tries to strive for, he can really achieve. Right. Yeah. So right. for our next segment, we have underrated, overrated. Yeah, we like to switch up the second yeah. segment. For the first one, so we just got you like okay. So you've been on you've, with. you've been on three big teams, yeah. yeah, and you've played with personalities, yeah. yeah. Uh, but within that, like they all show showcase yourself like fashion wise too. So, how do you feel about each of these players' fashion style? Yeah, so like we have their carry their fashion. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Under Donovan right. Mitchell, and then uh, Anthony Edwards and Ant. Yeah, Ant. I would say starting with Bi. I would say Bi is underrated. Oh yeah, just yeah. because like. Um, as an Adidas guy, when I was there, when he was with Adidas, mm-hmm. like you're limited to so much shoes exactly. wise. Right. But I've never seen like like anyone with that many bases. Oh. Because there's the closest thing of forces that you can get. <laughs> right. So like, right. and how he would piece his things together, mm-hmm. and like now that he can wear any shoe he wants, I would say Bi is underweighted. Um, Don. The thing is with Don, it's hard. <laughs> And I'm not even gonna say that as <laughs> to say he's overrated, yeah. but um, it's hard with Dom because <laughs> like his shoe size is so big. So now it's like how many shoes you can wear. And now touching on an Adidas component, Adidas, right? Where you have to go back to the designer. Like Nike has so much shoes. Yeah, like the, you the can the wear Robert. Dunks, Forces, Romero's, George like Jordan. exactly. And then yeah. Converse, mm-hmm. you can like it varies into so many things. Um, yeah, Adidas is very limited for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would say Don is underrated because okay. I don't feel like anyone hypes him uh, okay, to yeah, say yeah. he's overrated. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that dude is comedy. Yeah, comedy. Is that what his personality is like? No, you like, see it on all over the internet, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What you see is what you get. Yeah. And, and, and he's hilarious. Oh, like, yeah? How do you feel about his, his, his dressing and stuff? I can't see that picture. Yeah, but no, cool. I know overall though, yeah. for himself, overall, again, I, I can't say he's overrated. No, yeah, it's it's the Adidas factor. Adidas takes so much out of you, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like with the ability to wear what you want to wear, and like when you get into contracts. Yeah, I'm, you know Nike. You know. <laughs> shout out, shout out Nike. Shout out Nike. Shout out Nike. Shout out Nike. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, I think. I think uh, one thing I like about Ant is yeah. he likes different things mm-hmm. from uh, the average NBA player. Uh, okay, fair. Like, so I would say when I went shopping with him and the times I went shopping with him, I won't say he's overrated. Okay, Because fair. of, mm-hmm. like, I can see he's not trying to just put on the designer because it's money. Like, a lot of guys look yeah. at quality. Mm-hmm. He's looking at quality. He's looking at where is it from, like, mm-hmm. all that different stuff. Is it worth it? Now, a lot of guys will buy something just because it's the name, but right. he's going to say, I don't care how much it is. Yeah. yeah. Is it worth it? it? Like, yeah, 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 do I mess with it? So, right. that, for that, I have to say he's underrated. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Amina, what, what do you think? I mean, to be honest, I don't think any of them are overrated. Like, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel, I don't really see that, like, their names in the fashion world. Yeah. So, I, I think, yeah, I think they're all, like, underrated. Evenly know? rated or underrated. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. kind of right there. Exactly. Except, yo, Donovan Mitchell, like, I'm not feeling his fits. So, like, <laughs> yeah. From time to time, I'm everybody to misses, you. you know? I got some <laughs> I got some drowns in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. fair, fair. fair. Next one. So, Jordan 1, Obsidians. These ones, like, I remember during COVID time, like, on social media, they were super popular. These ones, do you think these are overrated? This colorway specifically? I had those. You had those. <laughs> <laughs> And you, it took, you, you it bought took it me a long hype, time man. to get rid of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This color but when is you hard, them? though. That's why. They look when good. When you had them? I never wore them seriously. Okay. I wore them, like, because, but they remind me, like, I was in grade six, and yeah. my cousin worked at Champs on right across from Eaton Center yeah. mm-hmm. uh, by the Burger King, and 
he let me use his discount to get the Obsidian 12s. No way. So that just reminded me of, of that, that time. So, yeah. And when you have the money to buy, you're just going to buy it. Exactly. Um, but not nah, those are all right. Those are all right. They're, so they're just like everyday go paintball, you know. Like <laughs> so you're going up. paintball in the Obsidian? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you know like, how long people waited in line for those shoes right there? Yeah. yeah but I mean, well, once we're saving up to, money to buy these right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. overrated, underrated. No, nah, these right now are super underrated. underrated. No, I think they're overrated. In my, in my opinion, oh, they're yeah. they're very they're, they're a GR. They are a GR, but like they're not the GR that like yeah. like they're what they're coming out with now. Like yeah, no, nah, I think they're I think these are uh, underrated as well. Yeah. I don't think they're overrated. I think like this is a hard shoe. This color wave is crazy to me. Bro. All right, so next we have the UK music scene. Like just the UK mm. music in general. Mm. UK music in general. These are a couple of faces that we feel like are kind of like. Uh, like paving the way for it right yeah. now. What do you think? Overrated, underrated? UK music scene. Underrated, underrated. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. But like this is this is the time now where people are paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. Um, but nah, it's hard. Yeah. As as you start to like actually listen to it, and it, being from Toronto, you appreciate it more. Yeah, yeah because you, because you feel little, like little. there's someone else out there that speaks like you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Understand exactly. that. Exactly. It's almost like listening to Toronto rappers. Is there yeah. someone that you listen to UK wise, like uh, religiously right now? Um, not religiously, but I remember uh, my boy JK put me on Dave. Mm -hmm. um, it was like the album, the blue, the smoke. Psycho like, drama. Yeah, like, yeah. he put me on that one when we were in college. Yeah, psycho drama. So, like, he's been here. listening to, like, just music as a whole. So, I would say, out of all of them that I know the best, I'd say Dave. Yeah, yeah, psycho yeah. drama is a bad. When you listen to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it hits. Yeah, yeah. The stories in it, it hits. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Overrated, underrated. To be honest, I think it used to be underrated. Yeah. But I think now it's like this okay, right. Yeah. Like everyone now knows about it. Yeah. But like if you like it can't get carried away. Yeah. It can't like So you think overrated me? No, no, no. I'm saying before it used to be underrated. Yeah. But now it's just it's, yeah, it's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nah. I don't think it's overrated. It no, I think it's stream in a second. I think it's underrated too. Yeah. It's on the verge to overrated though. Yeah, like it no, not even yet. You think so? I think so. Because then then you're gonna have people just listening think to the UK. Because yeah. everyone's it's UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna I see, I like see what you mean. Each like other new songs, like, but like yeah. guys like singing, Jay Huss are, are crazy, anything. bro. Like Jay Huss is crazy. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, Next one. So gallery department. It's one thing we see everybody wear right now. <laughs> like everyone, especially in Toronto. Like we just see everyone. Yo, you guys have gallery department? You know, like everyone yeah. just looking for it for the brand. Yeah. So what do you think? I had ties in gallery, but oh, yeah. <laughs> right, don't I had, say too I had much. ties. It's overrated. Don't say too much. It's overrated. It's overrated. It's overrated. Yeah. It's overrated. But um, it's just like it's one of those that you it's hate. Just, it's just like how UK rap's gonna be. You know, yeah. everyone's talking about the UK rap and the scene, and then like that music, and then yeah. everyone gets on it, and like Afro beats now, everyone's on it, right. and it's like at a certain point in time, mm -hmm. it's no longer different anymore. Right. That's how it happens. becomes overrated, and now people are just kind of doing what Drake doing dropping anything just for the sake of it yeah hoping it hit yeah yeah what do you, what think? Do you think oh I'm gonna go over it you gotta yeah. over I'm it. just gonna go over it just because yeah like I love the brand especially they do those amazing teams. things but especially those teas everywhere yeah, those, those teas are everywhere that's why we put all of these maybe like a simple flare jeans you might yeah. sneak in there but yeah. I know just but like, but but it, I'm not saying overrated and it's bad. Like, yeah, yeah, the exactly. brand is still yeah, hard. Really you know? nice thing. Like, I would still rock it, but I do think it's a little bit like, yeah. overrated right now. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, this is so Pharrell, Pharrell's Louis V collection. Uh, the last one, whole, just that one. Uh, the one that he released. I don't know if you tapped into it. Mm -hmm. uh, these are some of the looks that that uh, were seen in the fashion show uh, there in Paris. Um, and Dave was think? also part of the. How do you feel about Pharrell thing. being the creative director for Louis V too? Is that overrated, or underrated move? By the I think, I think in the light of Virgil. Yeah. Um. With all due respect to Pharrell's mind, mm -hmm. I think Virgil was a Michael Jordan, a Michael Jackson, yeah. a, a great, mm -hmm. like an all-time great. Right. That like you don't even try to compare what he did because what he did for fashion, like is why people love Louis V right now. You're right. You're right. You know Because it was before, falling off. Before, everyone just had Louis V belts. Right. Yeah. You know, like, when Virgil came, like, everyone started actually wearing Louis Vuitton jackets or trying to get... The shoes got... Shoes yeah, as well. even the shoes. Yeah. Right. And he done, like, different colors of the bags. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. just he popped different colors. Like, yeah, yeah. He used to just make black ones, gray ones. But, like, he came and just made changed, all the colors. He changed the game. So, like, yeah. I think he brought it to where they are, to where Pharrell's mind or... 
me just saying that as a fan looking from afar like right. his mind and his creativity being an artist helps because you need creativity like mm. you can't just be the average guy and do what these guys are doing because you'll run out real quick so i think it's underrated how hard it is to do oh uh, yes fair 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 like yeah to kind to of actually, try to follow up yeah act. something that everyone's gonna love that's a huge challenge it man. is you and know what i never really thought yeah, of it like that but it to is. take on that challenge of after virgil, being after yeah. virgil and you're so, dropping you're dropping a jacket that like you have to like i have to like he has to right. like everyone in the room has to like and then everyone in the world has, has to, to like, like you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. like this is all and if he well, doesn't it's then just, it's it's yeah. game over because it doesn't make sense if only one person or three people are gonna buy it yeah fair enough fair enough uh, i'm gonna go underrated as well with yeah. pharrell i think i like his the collections that he's kind of put up i like it what i'll go think? underrated as well just because honestly like yeah you're right like being a creative director after virgil is super tough i never thought of it like that He's okay been, it's the last one this is the last one here mm. coming into your well this year's big tournament right now yeah. this is team usa's roster what do you think overrated underrated fiba fiba world cup for them to be the favorites overrated huh yeah for them to be the favorites yeah. they're overrated they're overrated for sure you know what do you think overrated yeah exactly for them i've seen our overrated. roster this year i'm just saying you know yeah i think our, our team is solid crazy you know Canada yeah. is solid this year i'm standing yeah. on it too. I, I think yeah. these guys are overrated too yeah. you know those guys are my guys. I mean, shout out to the guys. Yeah, I was going to say some of your team is on there. I'll tell Jay Hart. I'll tell VI. Oh, yeah? All those guys, yeah. You have to tell Ant. To you have to go yeah. back to yeah, practice to and be I'll like, yo. So is it is it like battles on those courts then? Like, you know, you guys are no longer teammates. We've kind of seen it in like documentaries like with LeBron where you see you guys aren't on the same team. So you're really battling kind of thing. But mm. What's the locker room like when, you, when you're in mm. trash talk in these <laughs> things? Or it's, no? it's, it's the association to it. So like it's beef with B.I. on the court right, because right. he plays for the Pelicans. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, you know? Right, so it's yeah. like, beat for the Pelicans. Right, <laughs> right, right. Because right. like, that's the team that traded you. Right. you know? like, yeah, if that's yeah. the team that drafted you and that's the team that traded you, you're like, your emotional side outside of the business, yeah. you're like, all right, bet. That's how it is. Cool. <laughs> yeah. But like, when you go into it and then you're looking at like your teammates, like they're in the same boat as you. <laughs> Me and Jay Hart were part of the same trade. So I, there's no way it could be beat for him right. unless our personalities just don't match. Fair, yeah, right? yeah. But I'd say like, when it comes to the team, it's it's strictly <laughs> like, all right, you're off. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong, that, we're not wrong. Yeah, these yeah. guys are overrated, bro. Super overrated. All right, yeah. uh, we got to our end of line is questioning. Now it's the fun part. We're gonna get our stylist to put you in some outfits and then have uh, the people decide who had the best fit. You gotta let us know who had the best fit. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming Thank on you. the show. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs>
which just pulls the whole look together. And then last but not least, my favorite, our favorite actually, we discussed it, was the Dior lenses. And that's it. You like it? Okay, perfect. <laughs> Alright, that was the end for our show. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, Appreciate you guys. Um, you. Appreciate it. Tell us, who had the best fit? Uh you know, there's some pretty good fits, but I have to go with number one, uh, Naris. She did her thing. Good fit. Um, I appreciate it. Just like I was rocking with Vix. Hands. I was rocking with Vix. Vix is Vix is hard too. You know, I, it's similar styles to what I would do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I feel like in the direction I'm in right now, personality, like that's something I would wear like all day. I hear feel you. Comfortable. I hear you. Hey, well, thanks for coming on. Thank again. you. Yeah. <laughs>